morning, I'm Pastor Allen, and it's Monday, August 17th, and we are continuing our daily Bible study through the Gospel of Matthew, and we are in Matthew chapter 21, and Jesus comes to Jerusalem as king. Some people know it as the uh, triumphal entry, or Palm Sunday, and this passage is in Matthew, it's in Luke, it's in Mark, and it's also in John. So it's an interesting passage. Chapter 21, verses 20, chapter 21, verses 1 through 9. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you. And at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king is coming to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did, it, did as Jesus instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna! to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Well, in the passages that we've been reading and looking at, Jesus is on a journey. He is heading towards Jerusalem, and now he has arrived, and he makes what is his, we know as the triumphal entry. He is entering Jerusalem as a king. But as we continue to read, and as we know the story, we know that, that things change. So Jesus sends two of his disciples, they go and get the colt and, and the fowl, and, the, and they throw their cloaks on. And, and we don't know if Jesus has made prior arrangements for this or if he has made, um, this is just the power of God at work. It does fulfill prophecy from the Old Testament. And it's from Isaiah chapter 62, verse 11, and Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. And it's in here to show that Jesus is, fulfills Old Testament prophecy that was written thousands of years before he came. And that's one of the purpose of the Old Testament. The Old Testament points us to, it tells us about God, but it points us about a coming Messiah, a coming Redeemer to save the people, to save us from our sins. And so when he sent the two disciples, they go and do what Jesus had instructed him. And then a very large crowd, and as we've read, there's always a crowd with Jesus following him, looking for miracles, listening to his teaching, just wondering what's going on. And so the crowd spreads out their cloaks because a king should be honored when he enters into the kingdom city. And then others cut palm branches and spread those on the road and also wave those and that's where we get Palm Sunday from and the crowds that went ahead of him and the crowds that followed shouted 
Hosanna to, to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the highest heaven. This is a, this Hosanna means save is the, is the literal Hebrew word that's translated into our English word, Hosanna. And it's an, it's a shout of praise for Jesus because the crowd has one expectation. We'll see the Pharisees have another expectation. The disciples have a different expectation. And of course, Jesus has the true expectation or the true reason for entering Jerusalem, which we will soon see. And when, when Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So we had this, this makeshift parade, this celebration with people lining the streets. And of course, the people that were originally there attracted more people to come and watch and see what was going on. And so everybody sees this entrance and they see what's going on and they don't all understand because Jerusalem at this time, the population swelled because people came for Passover. They came to celebrate Passover at the temple. So there was a lot of people who traveled to Jerusalem in order to celebrate Passover. And they may not have heard of Jesus or have been aware of his ministry because he had been walking in the surrounding towns for three years, but some people came from, from even farther away and had not heard of Jesus, but they see this parade and they wonder, who is this? Why is this parade? And ones in the crowd that knew said, this is Jesus, the prophet, from Nazareth and Galilee. So I hope that you will accept Jesus as a prophet, but also as a savior, because it's important for us. And that's why the Old Testament was written, to point us to Jesus, to the prophet. But remember, Jesus is more than a prophet. He's also the Messiah, a savior.